guys, and welcome back to another weekly vlog! <laughs> I missed you! Hey! How are we? Oh my gosh. I haven't picked up my vlog camera in a week, you guys. Like, it feels weird. Like, this girl is literally my right hand at this point. Like, y'all realize that I vlog I've vlogged every single week of my life since like, yeah, the be right at the beginning of September, I've vlogged every single week. So that was the first week I was like officially like off. It's Thursday. Oh, good morning. This was the first day I was able to sleep in and I forced myself to sleep in. Forced myself to sleep in because I woke up at 6.30 like, and I was like, no, we're not doing this today because I want to rest. I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night. Okay, guys, so much. You guys have missed so much, I feel like. So since fashion week, um, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlogs last week. You know, like the little chaotic get ready with me and the galentines. I know I'm not supposed to touch this in my face. Relax. Um, oh my God, don't. And I'm just going to tell you to shut up right now. Just stop. I don't just, we're not going to get off on the wrong foot already. Just, you need to go fuck off. Honestly, stop. Like, you're really irritating me. Between that, I was just recovering from fashion week, guys. And I really felt so gross and out of shape like i meant that at the end of the vlog like ew i was looking in the mirror like i need to go to the gym because like i was just so unhealthy i just felt like fast food and t and f drinking and like no sleep and just like i was not taking care of myself so i was on my skinny the past week i haven't eaten out once i only ate my coffee lunch and dinner like nothing else and i feel good i feel better feeling like i'm a little bit I've been using that gua sha. If you guys haven't used one yet, cause like everyone was raving about it. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. But like I actually like started using mine and I was like, wait, I actually love it. But the cleaning lady broke it. So I just have to use this side. But I don't know, something about it, something about it. I went to the nail salon, got my little nubs cleaned up because in the fashion week vlog too, y'all saw they was a bested. Ooh, so I did some rope curls for the first time in a while just because I didn't feel like doing my hair again. And rope curls are, I forgot how amazing they are. So, ooh, ooh, they smell unreal. I like took my time wrapping these up because I want these to last to Saturday, which is two days from now. Oh, they look good. And I would have saved them to do them for tomorrow but my head was so itchy, like dirty ass head, <laughs> dirty ass head. I also invested $1,500 into my car, which was the first time I really like put money into my car. I've had it for like four years now. And um, it was like a little hand-me-down car. And like she was doing her thing. Like I didn't really need to like get anything done to it. Besides like oil changes and stuff. Period. Good morning, looking so cute. Let's get my coffee. I got four new tires. Guys, come on. I, I knew that it was expensive to like invest into your car. Like actually swiping that card, bro, and like seeing that price, like really? Like do I really need these tires? These like they're literally, <laughs> like your tires are literally smooth. Like they're run down, like all four of them. Like you're supposed to get new tires every two years, apparently something like that, my mom said, and I was like, Fine. I got new windshield wipers. I got like the air filter cleared. I got the gas tank like flushed or some shit. And then I had to go back and, okay, I got pulled over twice. Y'all was sliding off of my story. I love how much you guys like invest into the vlogs. Like when you guys comment on my shit, like on other platforms that relate to the vlogs, it sends me, it sends me. Like I got pulled over, I put it on my story the other day and a few of the girls slid up and was just like, not again. Like you just got pulled over. Like you just got pulled over in the vlog. Like what are you doing? And I was like, <laughs> you guys kill me, stop it. <laughs> but I got pulled over the same reason both times because my registration was expired too. I was just sleeping on my car y'all. Like, I don't know. I'm not that interested in like checking on my car. Like, are you guys like, I don't know. I had an appointment to get a new regist registration the second time I got pulled over. So I'm like, I don't know what you want me to do. Like this is the only appointment they had available for me. And I got pulled over in a white ass area guys. Like super white like I felt when I was driving through I was just like it just gave me I didn't belong there I didn't belong there I've never been to that side of Jersey I was going to a vaccine clinic to 
to give some vaccines. I did that twice in my break and I stabbed beat about like 70 people. Wow, I'm feeling you guys in a lot, huh? I missed you guys, I'm just talking to you, okay? Is it really ready or is it out of water? I hate when this happens. Like you ruined my whole cup. Like even if it's only two sips less, like no. Anyway guys, what the hell am I talking about? I feel like I keep bouncing on topics. Oh, so I got pulled over and he was in a police car truck. He was in a police truck. I was like, oh hell no. Nah. Like my butt cheeks were clenched. I passed this motherfucker in a roundabout. I was like, what are the odds? Like we made eye contact. I was like, he sees that I'm black. He's running my plates right now. He's like, you have to physically run my plates to know that my registration expired. Ran my plates, followed me up the street, put his lights on right when I parked. Asshole! Gave me the hardest time. Meanwhile, the, the time before when I got pulled over, it was black man. And he was like, oh, I see you're going to do your civic duty, being a clinical, whatever. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just going to school, man. And he's like, okay, well, your shit's inspired, expired. Like, just make sure you get that done for me. I was like, thank you so much, sir. This other guy's like, you are disgusting. You are a disgrace to this whole entire world. Like, this is two years expired. Meanwhile, you're only supposed to like renew it every year. So if you miss one year, like obviously it's gonna be two. Like, stop being dramatic. Disgusting. And he points at my uh, inspection, which is only one month expired. Guys, I haven't been investing in my car, okay? I'm doing it now. It's all perfect now, okay? He's like, and this is expired. Like, your car is literally trash. Like, you are horrible. He's like, here's your court date, here's the ticket, here's this. Like, you're lucky I don't take your car right now and impound it and like make you have to buy it back. I was like, my ass cheeks were clenched. I was like, Lord, please don't let this be my day. Like, anyway. Yeah, it's gonna be a homework day. I did a lot of, I did some content stuff without you guys. I was like, dang. There's so many times I wanted to pick up the camera like, should I show the girls? And I'm like, no, let me just take this time off. And like, I'll fill you guys in. Welcome to the weekly vlog. It's Thursday morning. We got the coffee. Good vibes, good vibes. Let's see what we have planned for this week. Me and mom just found out some really exciting news that I'm excited to share with you guys soon. <laughs> It'll be its own YouTube video, which is gonna be really fun. I haven't seen the girls in like two, three weeks at this point because I just needed to recover. Like they would, they hit me the same weekend I got back from fashion week, like two days later, like let's go out tonight. Let's go out tomorrow. And I'm like, can't girls i can't so i'm definitely gonna see them tomorrow we're probably gonna do like a little dinner or something i took my week off of being a bum and i'm just ready for the glam again i don't know guys let's just let's just go about this week together i miss you guys y'all comments have been like super sweet i feel like i'm appreciated i feel like i'm a best friend i feel like i'm glad that we have each other let's get into this week baby why are we forgetting to vlog all day it's not like y'all miss anything anyway. Hey, it's literally like 10 p.m. Mom just got home and Gabriel got the wraps. It's funny. Me and Gabriel fight for mom's time, honestly, just to talk to her. What? No. No. You got the raps. No, no. I said we're always fighting for mom's. <laughs> Literally. F fighting? Yeah. No. For, for my attention. No. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Bye. You see, he wins. Me and the girls finally decided that we're just gonna go out to dinner tomorrow and we'll see where the night takes us. If we feel like going out, we'll, we'll go out, fine. But I also think I'm done hookahing because I think it's getting a little bit out of control. Like. <laughs> the raps. <laughs> the vlog is literally like, they can hear the whole. Love. <laughs> you you speak like that. That that's you too. And that is Spanish, right? You in English you are like that. So you do the same thing then. But I just can't I can barely understand you. You what? try to understand me. That is so funny. <laughs> I just posted another YouTube video and like the girls are screaming and the girls are running and I'm like, oh 
I'm so happy you guys are excited. The Chaotic Get Ready With Me by, that one was literally so funny. Like I was pissing myself editing that just because like, <laughs> just cause mom literally was so mad. It's just funny to me. Cause like, it's not that serious girl. Like mom? Can I have 10 minutes? You said 5.30, you wanna text me? I said at the latest. Mom. Oh my gosh, guys. Come on, y'all. You know, you know what the part that gets me is that you wanted to do seven to nine and ultimately you're trying to get your way. That's the part that's, that's not what's me. happening, I told mom. you that Stevie asked me to be there at six. Okay. Why are you trying, like 5.30 is enough time to get there. It's not the end of the world. Anyway, I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Thursday is boring. Thursday is boring. See you in the morning. Good night. so bright god i know so rainy it's only seven in the morning like my body is just like let's go bitch let's ride our apartment is really fucking loud like everything about it the floors the doors the walls the ceilings everything is just fucking loud so when he walks by my room it sounds like i'm literally about to get slain by a yeti so he's in a rush this morning. He forgot something like seven times. He's like boom, 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 like right by my room. I feel like my door's about to bust down and I'm about to be slashed. And of course it's at like six in the morning, like six, seven. So I'm gonna be like, eh. <laughs> Anyway, my back hurts from carrying YouTube. <laughs> But like, no one's giving, no one's giving. I don't know, guys, can you recommend some people? Definitely not Jeffree Star. Okay, I love Mai, but also I've had the right energy to watch her. Like I need to be like an inspired, like happy mood. Like right now I wanna be like, just like, probably some murder mystery shit. <laughs> Wait, but I was watching Tiny Desk yesterday. Did you guys ever watch Tiny Desk? Anyway, my pimple's still, pimpling ow hey guys happy friday i'll literally just be here <laughs> you can't see me okay let's clean this room and get the vibes right for today because it's like 2 p.m now but i got a lot of shit done so it's not like i wasn't productive i just look like a bum i also just got a package of some clothes that i'm so excited to open so let's clean this room so we have a fresh thing to open Yay! Is this a new location unlocked? On my fucking TV, Monet, seriously. <laughs> hey! We're vacuuming. We're just gonna empty this first. <laughs> Y'all, I look rough. Did we just get a package? Did we get another one? Yes, we did. UPS man! UPS man! UPS. Oh! Oh my god, that's so embarrassing. I thought he was gonna run to his car, but he actually ran by that way and he saw me in the window. The room is feeling fresh. 
That was so overdue. Oh my gosh. Like the dust. Did y'all see the dust on my desk? Damn. Okay, I'm way too excited to get into this right now because a lot of small businesses with some fire ass clothes have been reaching out. And like, that's what I like to support. You know what I'm saying? Small businesses have the most love. And like, honestly, the, be the better quality stuff. It's like better quality stuff. Yes. Yay. Oh my God, this is right the fucking time. Yay. Okay, it's the Hyatt collection. Hey, Sydney. Thank you, girl. Like, I was so excited about this. Okay, let me put some lip gloss on because I look dry. Oh wait, this is the MAC lip gloss. Let me stop going around because this is thick. Damn. Ew. Should I try this shit on right now? Should I try this shit on? Let's just try this shit on. Because I want to know if it's going to fit for tonight. This motherfucking brown leather set, okay? On her Instagram, her body is so freaking nice. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Are these in medium? Oh my gosh, am I going to look really snatched in this or is it going to make me look... <sighs> okay, so it comes with these pants. Really hot, really hot. The battery is dead. Wow. And then with this matching brown leather jacket with a really sexy cut in the back. Okay, let's see. It's a size medium. It has a little bit of stretch. I feel like it's going to hug me right now. I think this might be like the most perfect fitting medium. Let me not speak too soon. Oh my god. How does my butt look? Wait, bitch. I feel like the perfect length for my legs too. Okay, let's try this jacket on. This, I think it's supposed to be worn with no shirt on me. It's fine. We don't do it. We don't do it. This is really nice quality. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god. I look hot. Wait, I want to get this on right so I can just go show my mom. Damn, how am I going to put this on myself? Oh, like that. I already knew I was going to love this. You guys, the quality. Oh my god, call me a motherfucking Hershey bar. Call me a motherfucking Hershey bar. What? This is like the most true to size medium ever. The one thing about me is that I have rolls as hell. Like, no matter how much I work out, I will have a roll here. That's just how my body works. <laughs> Which is like, the only inconvenient thing about the cutting of this. Oh my God, but it's hot. Oh my God, but it's hot. Let's go show mom. Oh my gosh. That's beautiful. Oh I know, gosh. right? Yeah, that's hot. It's hot, right? Yes. What type of shoes do you think you're gonna wear with it? Wow. Look how perfect the pants are. Yes. Like they're the perfect length. Very nice. It makes my body, like it shapes my body really nice. Mm -hmm. Love the color. Call me a motherfucking Hershey bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the back is really cool. Yes. It gives it some like flare edge. Love it. I think I might wear this tonight. Yeah, it's cute. It's perfect too. Like, you know, it's, it's cold. Okay, but this is only one of the, of the few. I have, oh my God, I have some other faves. Okay, so this is the first one. Okay, I've really been into gray recently. Whoa! Whoa! Is there any way I can tighten this actually? I think you're actually able to tighten it. That would be so smart. You are! Oh my God, okay. Yeah, let's tighten this. I feel like my boobs about to slip out. Here, I know you can see my granny panties. Get out of here. <laughs> some patchwork puppetry like that's what it's giving see i would wear this with stockings my high heel black boots some gloves my deep vintage Dior bag some like vintage shades like <gasps> love this one this is a cute little staple piece whoa it's a little bit of skin this one we're gonna have to save for spring i know but i'm so excited for it to get warm just to wear this Oh, this is extra. Am I wearing this right? I don't know if I'm wearing this right. Wait, I don't know if I'm wearing this right now. I feel like a fish. I feel like the mermaid god. I feel like of this color. Is blue my color? Is blue my color? I like what it's doing to the boobs. I like that you can like see my necklaces. And we have one more dress, but this looks really see-through. Baby, am I supposed to wear this like by itself? Okay. Damn, the battery's gonna die! So it's funny how me and the girls are going to a bar that our parents used to go to like 
when they were our age. So I just feel like that's so cute. Kind of like we're time travelers, like going back in time, like as our parents. I'm just gonna embody my mom. My mom was really that thick. I just wanted to give like natural wavy curly texture. Yeah, so I'm gonna throw some of these in there and then we can get to the face. Not Halo. This is that one song I swore I could sing when I was little. I'd hit that one riff and I'd be like, eh. I wouldn't even hit the riff. I would not even hit the riff. And I'd be like, ooh, you heard that. Oh, you heard that, mom. No. Nah. Yummy. <laughs> Why are they playing all the bops on this right now? <laughs> Good ass vibes. Oh no. Oh no. We're not in Miami. Why are my eyes lopsided? <laughs> I have chills right now. This is the song. Picture me, seven years old. Rain is pouring down the window. I'm punching the fucking window. Hot tears down my cheeks. Never had a boyfriend. Heartbroken. I'm crying myself to sleep tonight. Bye. I forgot how much like throwbacks make me feel. Not my armpit sweating, like Monet. This one, my 10th birthday. I'm like, you guys need to break your back, okay? Wow, this is like my childhood as fuck. Okay, let's get dressed. <laughs> I have this two piece, two piece, two piece brown leather set. Hold up. Oh, like I feel like the bad bitch sidekick. <gasps> like I'm supposed to be doing some cartwheels over an exploding car. Okay, I won't lie, it was kind of hard to style, but my brown boots literally are the same exact brown. Like how could I not? To be honest, I still don't know what bag I'm wearing with it. But I was thinking maybe these glasses. I do have these ones. Yeah. Oh wait, the girls are calling. The girls are here, okay. Y'all gonna have to see this, the final look on the gram. Cause we're definitely posting in this Miss Hershey Kiss. Ciao. How this one gives. Okay, I feel a little cool. You yeah. are. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't think that gives. So I feel like I'm over it sometimes. I, yeah, I think it's. Good. I think it's one or the other. Yeah. But I do like those. Yeah, these are cool. I like but I like the necklace. I like the jangly jangles. The jangles. I like the necklace. I'm making sure. <laughs> Cheers. Yes. Do you guys want to take another one? Yeah, let's take another one. Yeah, let's take another one. <laughs> Boom! I miss you. I miss you. <laughs> Maybe next time. It was a thought. No, when spring and summer rolls around, we're gonna be. I think I'm that's be, what. Like, I I cannot wait. Guys, exactly. The other day when it was sunny out, you should have seen this I know. girl. I felt that too. Walls. I'm gonna feel nice. I felt that too. I need summer outfits. I really am running out of things that I like to wear for winter. No, same. I just don't like this. Like I'm just over it. Like I would rather be in like a cute. Just naked and ripped naked, and okay. tan. Yeah, also me being, like my skin, my, my skin. My <laughs> skin just gets so much better in the summer. I think this I think this looks good on our bodies. We have the same fucking body, girl, come on. I think I would rock that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I would look so different. Oh, period. Yeah. Comment down below if you wanna see mom in this. Comment <laughs> down below if you wanna see mom in this fit. <laughs> but we're about to head out now. Mom and Gabriel are gonna drop us off to the restaurant. Yeah, it's going to feel crazy. Mom, well, I told mom earlier, I was like, Ari's parents just fucking go there. And she's like, no fucking way. And I was like, no, it's the yes. fact that, I don't know, bro. My mom is the type to drag anyone out on the dance floor. If she yeah. sees you dancing, she will come up to you. Like, <laughs> I really wish and pray that you guys had a drunken moment so bad. Can you imagine, mom, you like ran, in, ran into them and you didn't yeah. even know? Was it your mom and dad? Oh, yeah. Oh. That's crazy. I hope we have fun in your old swamps, mom. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Love you guys. I love you too. I'll text you. We'll be home to disturb you at like 3 a.m. Bye. Drive safe, okay? Every time in, the, in those videos, bro. Like every video, she'll be like, 
<laughs> she looks like that fucking <laughs> Bro, she did. I, I feel like you're The Aquarius. bricked up one? Your Aquarius ass would. No. <laughs> She's the bricked up one. Can you find out one? <laughs> you guys the bricked up one. Why is everyone bricked up right now? <laughs> Today's theme? <laughs> Blue sea. sea. Aquatic behavior. Exploring <laughs> underwater life. I'm the most mesmerizing mermaid of them all. <laughs> Today's theme is deep. Blue sea. sea. Aquatic behavior. Exploring, Exploring underwater, underwater life. life. <laughs> I'm the most mesmerizing mermaid of them all. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go. I gotta go. <laughs> at least brush my teeth, huh? It's noon the next day. <laughs> Last night was interesting to say the least. Interesting, interesting. We all had the vibes of like, let's get lit as fuck. And we did do that. We indeed did that. I am hungover and I'm hungry. And I want to eat everything in the world. So, um. This is how I'm walking out into the world right now. Oh, the line's not that bad. It's actually such a beautiful day out. Like I was supposed to get brunch with mom and like be cute and stuff, but I was like, mom, can we have it be tentative because... Anyway, yeah, this is what I look like. <laughs> I told mom if we can keep it tentative though, because I don't know if I was going to feel like day. And I just can't imagine getting full glam right now and going to get brunch, like, no. But we are doing that this week. Next vlog is gonna be fun. I'm excited for next vlog. But hey girls, I'm literally a total of one brain cell. And we somehow always end up at Chick-fil-A. Like, you ha you can't say that Chick-fil-A is not top tier, supreme fast food chain. Oh my God, I feel cringe. I feel like people are looking at me. When I have the shades on, I feel like no one can see me. <laughs> What's your Chick-fil-A order, guys? Number two. Deluxe meal is the only right answer by the way. All I have to do today is just edit and tomorrow we have clinical Which is literally a joke the teacher. Okay, let me not also I got the I got a sprite here last time like it was so good for no reason I was really like mm, mm, mm. I feel like a gremlin right now. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Can I get a name for your order? Monet. What can I get for you? Can I have a number two deluxe meal? Okay, and the drink? Sprite. Anything else today? Can I have buffalo sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce? Yeah, sure. Will that be all? That's it, yeah. It's going to be 9.37. We're paying cash or card? Card. Card. I can take it right here for you. Can I actually do Apple Pay? Yeah, sure. All right. You're all yes. set. Have a great day. Thank you. You too. Oops. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> I'm be running over civilians. <laughs> oh, I just caught someone staring at me inside. He looks like Tom Holland. Oh my God, Tom Holland. <laughs> he sees me talking to myself. It's fine. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna just spend today recovering. What the hell do we even have going on this week? I don't know. I've really just been on my chill vibe. It's interesting being in the social media world because I've always just been a watcher and I still am a watcher. I'm still a spectator. I still can't believe that like I have people who watch my videos. <laughs> anyway, let's teleport to my room and eat this Chick-fil-A in the dark. My mouth is literally watering. And Miss Aaliyah's face uploaded a video finally. Yay! I miss that girl. Hey, besties. <laughs> I love being a rat for you guys. I love looking like a little dirty rat. A little dirty rat. I've really enjoyed not doing much today though. Cause I've just been hustling my ass off and I'm really proud of myself. Um, and I feel like I deserve to do what I want today. <laughs> so. Some forms of self-care are eating good food. Eating some good food. Is that all I can talk about today? I'm just gonna talk about food today, okay? It's Saturday food day. Cheat day. Tomorrow's the last episode of Euphoria. Are you guys ready? Oh, it's, it's already been a week later since y'all seen it. Let me get to editing, because I want to get this done so I don't, like, I can be done. 
I use Adobe Rush, by the way. Some people ask what I use to edit my YouTube videos. But I do want to get a Mac desktop and use Final Cut Pro. Because I would love to get on that software. Like, there's so much things I want to do that Adobe Rush does not give. But I don't want to get a desktop until I have my own place. Because I don't really have any space to put it in my room. Y'all see my room. Like, where am I putting a big-ass desktop? I don't know. I mean, I could work in the kitchen for now. I don't know. I just feel like I want to commit to that like when I get a new place. But who knows? We'll see. Hey, we as back in business. I didn't actually end up getting dumplings, it's fine. I didn't feel like driving. I would have to drive all the way to the city, which would have been fine Like if I already didn't drive to Chick-fil-A today. I just felt like I was doing too much. And mom didn't want to come with me, so I was like, am I really about to drive into the city by myself to get some dumplings? <laughs> so we washed clothes. I, put new sh I got new sheets for my bed. I cleaned my room. I washed my dirty ass like, ew, I was giving dusty like teeth was crusty mascara still on like naughty ass hair finished editing my youtube video exported uploaded cleared the whole computer organized all my files and my hard disk like that is satisfying if y'all have to do that shit like that is satisfying like it was such a mess in there now they're all really nice in folders i have my vlogs in one folder like all my beauty stuff in one folder like i'm feeling good right now all my homework is done. Like, I posted an Instagram picture. I posted a TikTok today. I'm just very on my shit and I just haven't felt like this in a while. It's Saturday night. It's 9 p.m. Like, I can very much just lay in bed and like, in peace right now and I'm like loving it. <laughs> so yeah, we're just gonna wake up tomorrow, go to clinical, I don't know, maybe come home and like, I don't fucking know. I feel like the world is mine. Like I have so much free time right now. Like a full like six hours of free time tomorrow. Like what am I gonna do with that time? Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good night. Good morning. It's so cold. It's 10 a.m. Why? Here I go. Why is our teacher texting us? Clinical teacher. Do you guys really feel like coming to clinical today? What do you mean? What is this? Like, listen, I'm all for like canceled classes and shit, like for whatever reasons, but like, he's just, he's just being lazy. He's just being disrespectful to our education, honestly, at this point. And like, I mean, sure, it's not like we really do much at clinical anyway. Sure, I'll stay in fucking bed, but like, listen, if I really was like trying to be a hardcore nurse, like the best nurse in the world, like save the fucking world, I'd be pissed. So anyway, y'all, no one answered in the chat because we're all just like, what do we say to this? Like, I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> like, I'm already mentally checked out now. So I'm like, oh, now I have a free day. Like, I don't even know what I want to do with my day today. I could go see my grandma because I had to reschedule our plans to next Saturday because obviously I would have had class today. Come on, child. 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 I'm going to make my thumbnail. Actually, am I making coffee? Are we doing coffee talk or are we doing thumbnail? I'm actually going to make coffee now. Good. <laughs> Good morning. Oh. Hey. I should go. Monet! Oh, she took the bun down. Oh, you put it back up? Mm-hmm. <laughs> just Monet! I just had a full makeup on. You just you just hit the camera and had a full makeup on. Literally. She Ooh. always gets me. Oh okay. no. Um, Mom. At my best. You're talking with egg in your mouth mm -hmm. to the camera. No. No. Breakfast. Mom does this chick chick mom thing. She'll stuff her food in her cheek pockets and then talk. Like we yeah. can't like we can't see it. No one answered in the chat yet. Like I don't know what to fucking say to him. <laughs> like or she'll be like, yeah. He wants us all to be on the same like page. Like 
Yeah, F critical. You never want to come. He wants us to like meet him there. Just be like, yeah, I don't want to come, but apparently, you know, like we need to. We're just getting a day started. Yeah. Good vibes. And I'm literally caught in every video wearing the same one. Yeah. That's okay, me too. <laughs> I got this hat, and it's either this one suit or the rescue one. Yup. Mm -hmm. Period. <laughs> Not much, I just wanted to check in on you. I just had boiled eggs, go ahead, go for it. I need a session with Reiki. <laughs> if you want to cancel, go ahead. Like, if I have a free Sunday then, like fine. That's where I'm at right now. <laughs> you just gonna pull up? I'm here. I need this. <laughs> Hi. Good morning. Good morning, man. How are you? Good, yeah. Good, good. Good. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, so this week was great. Um, the therapy session. Uh, You're like, yeah. <gasps> so. Yeah. So I told you I met with Tony. I called you afterwards. <laughs> Uh, I guess we'll just coffee talk it. Hashtag coffee talk. Don't forget to ask coffee talk questions. We're back on our regular weekly vlog schedule, so we'll definitely be doing that consistently. Ask them on Instagram. Um, ooh, this coffee about to hit right now. I'm so excited. Did I ask this? What's your favorite go-to coffee? What are your coffee orders? Let me know your coffee orders down below because I'm gonna start exploring some more on some coffee. Would you ever consider moving to Miami? Absolutely not, babe. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe when I'm old. Not Miami. I mean, if my no. Florida is a different story than Miami. I will say that. It's fun there. Only for literally max five days. It expires. How are the Jersey boys over there? <laughs> Stay away. I feel like everyone kind of hates their men from their hometowns because like that's where all our emotional damage is from, right? <laughs> but also it's just like, mom just told me a fact that Jersey is the most populated state in the US and Jersey City is the most populated city in the US. Like there's so many motherfucking fish in the sea and I still hate them all. <laughs> I'm just so over this town. Like I'm stuck in this like I feel like it's like 250 people. Not really, I don't really go out and see people. <laughs> hmm. How do you stay so unbothered? I'm trying to work on just letting things go. I don't know, girl. <laughs> How do I like, I don't know. Your happiness is all that matters at the end of the day. So do what makes you happy. At, like not at the expense of others. You know what I'm saying? Not giving a fuck what other people think about you is was very hard for me. But also it's like once you get past that, it's like you gotta just make yourself uncomfortable just for a little bit, just to get through it. Like posting my first few TikToks, bro, like I would literally put my phone up. Have I have I talked about this before? I feel like I have. But I would post and just be like cringe, 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 cringe. Like my friends are seeing this, like they think I'm trying so hard, like, oh my god, like who's seeing this in my hometown, like and like my family's like, oh, what's those little videos you're doing and posting? And I'm like, ugh, cringe. But here we is now, so babe. <laughs> it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable getting through that whole thing, but I think going through it, you grow through it. And then just like, just realize that like, I think time is like insane. Like the whole concept of time is crazy. Like you can blink your eye and I promise you it'll be five years from now. We can reference this video in five years and be like, wow, how did we get here? Time is like this, it's so weird. So like, just tough it through whatever situations you're going through. Cause like, life has so many different chapters and phases that literally come like this and go like this. Like, it's so weird. And if you hate where you're at right now, it's not gonna be like that forever, I promise. And you have the power to make the change. Even if it's a little bit here and a little bit there, it's, go it's going on its way. You know what I'm saying? Like, life is weird, time is weird but just try to appreciate it. You know, I feel like I say this all the time. Let's do one more question. 
What would you wear on a first date? That's actually really cute. And some people were asking about like my dating life and shit. Like I'm just so uninterested in men, like in dating in general. Like I mentioned before, like I was cuffed up for like fucking 20 years of my 22 years of life. I was in a fucking relationship, it feels like. So I'm just like, I just want to not worry about anyone but me right now at all. Like men are literally, and I'm just not like the hookup type. I'm not like the type where like, I can see someone be like, oh, he's cute. Like I want to see him like type of thing. Like I'm not interested in all <laughs> at all. It's never that girl. And all love to those girls. I love that shit. I'm like, how do y'all do that? Because I don't know. What was the question? What would you run a first date? First thought is like my go-to winter fit is like a little dress my leather jacket that's like the length of the dress i feel like that's so cute like when you have a tiny dress on and like the jacket just is like the same length as it with some stockings and like some booties and like a little bag and like okay i'm literally thinking of this fit that i wore to this dinner this fit something like that just something cute something a little like that'd be my first date fit just to like be like yeah take me serious i'm that bitch 20 minutes this clip is 20 minutes. Bye. <laughs> what? Well, I think this is all we're doing today anyway. Like, what else are we doing today? Waxing armpits. We're waxing armpits today. All right, let's make this thumbnail. I use Canva to edit, by the way. Worst. That bald ass. I think <laughs> my No, Gabriel wins. Yeah. Gabriel is longer, but I think more, more. contrast. You know. I'm dead. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Ew. <laughs> oh my god. Yes, honey. Before. Yeah. Y'all are too close to my business right now. I feel like y'all are so close to me right now. Both y'all. No! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> like, I need six feet of space right. from both y'all. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Damn! Damn, girl. You fucking <laughs> fucked up the top. Get some more on. It's only like a few stragglers there. Beautiful. First, Amor, I need you to. You're too far. Oh my gosh. <laughs> She's gonna go in her room and not come out. Yeah. <laughs> it's loading. <laughs> <laughs> I touched you. <laughs> yeah, they you. Yeah. Oh, that's so fucking cute. What are they watching? My vlogs? Mm -hmm. I just... uh, no, your, well, your TikToks. Because uh, my content is like for. Hmm. I have one more. You don't need to use a whole one more for this. Might as well. Okay, that one needs to go up. There's actually like three hairs, you guys. I feel like my content is for like, I feel like it's 21 plus, definitely. Right? Some of it, yeah. I just feel like that's what I consider my shit and like I don't think of younger people watching my stuff. Like young adults. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Per 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 per. Yay! Wow! Oh. Oh. Wow! <clears throat> wow! Mom, that looks so bald. Good. Yours is extra bald too. Yeah, it is, man. I haven't seen it like that in forever. Damn, y'all! Catch me in the streets, like. <laughs> I was telling mom, since our clinical is canceled, I think I'm gonna go thrifting today by myself, like self care. But I need to find a good one that has like good hidden gems. Uncut gems. Okay, we're going. We're going because honestly, I haven't had a free day like this. I look atrocious, but we're gonna make it. We're gonna help it, we're gonna fix it. I use this Tresemme mousse when I do my, my slick moments. I don't want to do like a full slick moment. I kind of just want to look in place and also so I can drive with the windows down and my hair not go crazy. Um, 
But yeah, nothing snatches my hair like a good mess. Oh, I'm gonna try to do a clip in my hair. Oh my God, Monet, I'm giving just a little ratchet. And my hair never looks good in a clip like the other girls. So I think because my hair is so fucking long. Let's see. I'm thick. Is it even on my head? Ew. Oh, I hate, 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 hate. Like the girls be looking so cute with the little, that look, oh my God. Okay, but there's this place about 15 minutes away that looks like a cute little boutique. Hopefully I find something cute. But hopefully, I have a feeling I'm gonna find something I really like. Like a good staple, I'm manifesting it. I'm gonna find a good staple piece that like I'm gonna wear forever. Yeah, hopefully the vibe's right in the store because it's like a little boutique and I don't wanna, I don't wanna be pulling up on someone's like, um, I feel like boutiques could easily give a bad vibe. <laughs> Do I just not do a clip? Like, I don't know how I, I did a clip once that then it looked good. What the fuck is that? Oh my God, like horrendous, horrendous. I don't think I'm gonna wear any makeup. Maybe just some like lip liner and get these brows in place. But I'm excited, I'm excited. But because I never really have free days like this where I can like do whatever I wanna do and it's getting beautiful. Yo, once spring and summer comes around, Y'all gonna be sick of me. I'm gonna be doing something every motherfucking day. And also I'm graduating soon, like, wow. Not having like nursing school <laughs> workload. I will literally be the freest woman. Okay, we bunned it. That looks better. Well, my car goes. So I'm gonna just wear these little sneakers. With the glasses. Let's go thrifting. Oh my gosh, guys, I, I absolutely loved it in there. <sighs> she was giving me good vibes. It was literally just me and this other girl. She just graduated college and she went to fashion school and like we were just chirping. It was just us two in that little in, our, in that little shop. And it was so cute. We were just talking fashion and I felt like, I don't know. I recognized some bags behind the counter. I was like, is that a vintage Balenciaga? And she was like, yeah, girl. We also had really similar like styles and stuff. God damn. She was like, bro, you keep picking up the same things that I was looking at. And I was like, really? And um, I picked up this necklace that said Monet on, like this necklace, it was so pretty, it was gold. It was two koi fish. Hold up, it's hot. Ooh. And I'm like, looking at this necklace, I'm like, wow, the details are so beautiful. And I see on the tag, it's so small, it says Monet. I was like, huh? I almost got it, I almost got it, but it was really like yellow gold. And like my, my gold is like, uh, like white gold. Anyway, y'all, the original price came out to like $550. I was like, huh? <laughs> so we had to cut some shit and she ended up finessing the bags for me, like for a good price. And it's like on this vintage little fucking receipt. But I got a lot of good stuff for spring and uh, summer, bruh. And I'm happy. So she recommended some cute, there's other sp like spots to shop around here and good dinner spots. And we definitely, I'm definitely gonna come back with the girls. But I'm really happy I came today. I was only here for an hour and let's go home. I just, I was only out here for an hour and I spent all my monies. So let's just head home. And yeah, I'm so excited about the bags I got, bro. Manifesting to the thrifting gods that we're gonna find some hidden gems. Jam. Right. Let's go. My pockets, my pockets. Honestly, thrift does not always mean cheap, girl. Okay, let's see what we got. It's the bags for me. Little coach moment. I love me a coach bag. Like, they just sit so nice. The colorway gives me like Southern, like Belle. That's what I'm Belle. Belle. Okay, this one, like, stunning. This is my summer bag. The amount of colors you can pull from this. The looks that are about to be sorry. Oh my God. Can we just ignore that? Can we ignore that? Got this belt. This will be more like a waist accent piece for like my neutral gray moments. This, it's just a sheer throw over. So dainty. Ooh, it's giving the Dementors from Harry Potter. Is those called Dementors? Oh, wait, wait, the arms are a little bit short. No, no, no. Oh no. 
this was a piece they just got yesterday this is a sarong for bathing suits <gasps> i'm gonna need to get my body right for her this summer okay so this is actually a skirt but i feel like i want to wear it as a dress like a mini dress okay definitely might do something with this let's get into it for a little bit but we love her okay this is the last piece i got i got this one for some reason <laughs> what was the reason what was the, the reason what was the reason oh no oh yeah i definitely wasted my money on this one bye i'm so happy this is my last sunday ritual because it's the last episode of euphoria tonight <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy, I'm gonna enjoy. Cheers, girls, cheers, girls. Checking in from the trenches at midnight. I just finished Euphoria. Guys, if you haven't finished it yet, it's a week later, what are you doing, okay? But if you haven't finished it, skip past this part, I guess. I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> I'm very much like in shock. And I was always like one episode behind but I was finally caught up for the final episode and I finally got to like scroll on Twitter cause Twitter be spoiling everything. Like if you know better, you stay off of Twitter until you're caught up cause they just be dropping all the tea on Twitter. So I was on there just like cracking up, but also like I'm in shock. It was just a lot, like euphoria is just different man. It's just different. It just knows how to really rip at them. Heartstrings, girl. I had hot tears. What part did I cry? Everyone was talking about how uh, Elliot was singing his song. They was all hating on the song, but I thought the song was so sweet that I started crying there. Like, yes, it was dragged. Yes, he sang the chorus three times, but also like, I thought it was sweet. And like, I think it was very symbolic and like it, it was an important part of like their relationship. So now y'all mad. But also when you only have an hour of screen time and it's three minutes of this song, <laughs> <laughs> I get it, but also like, oh my god. I'm just annoyed why they did- okay, spoilers. I'm just annoyed why they did Ashtray like that. Like, why- why was he not listening? Like, he really just needs to kill- like, honestly. Honestly, at this point, this boy is murderer. He took- he took Mouse out with a swipe of a hammer. Like, like, no, Ashtray, don't do that. Like, taking let- taking- just taking lives like that? Like, that's just how you roll, Ashtray? Like- that's how we do. We just stabbing necks and swinging hammers. Like, okay. So maybe he was a knucklehead. But also, like, why are, why are you doing... Why is he doing that? I'm fucking Fez, man. Like, everyone wants to see him win. Come on. <laughs> These are lazy robe curls. I kind of want it to just be, like, wavy. Not, like, super curly. So I'm kind of just, like, half-assing it. Hoping it comes out, like, just, like, natural. But I need to put my phone on direct to serve because... You hear it? I'm just, I know it's the girls. Like, I'm, we're not over it yet. I'm just annoyed. I'm just annoyed why they did it like that. I thought the play was so fucking good. Like, the play was genius. Like, oh my gosh. Nate really ratting on his dad like that. Like, bro, he has some anger issues. They all, the whole family needs to get locked up. The whole family needs to go. The whole family needs to go. Maddie should have scrapped. Maddie should have scalped Cassie's ass, honestly. Like, I was not satisfied with the nosebleed. Like, she should have been bald. She should have had no lashes, no brows, no hair, like nothing. Like, I needed her to be scalped. <laughs> like, like Rue and Jules. I saw some people talking about how, like, they were anti jules just saying like she was toxic and like she's a cheater and she's like horrible and i was like i thought we all loved jules i thought we all loved her and like we understand that rue fucked up but we also still love rue and it's fine they're both it's just fucked up but also like not the jules haters they're like not her gaslighting rue and telling her i love you like i don't know i felt that shit like sometimes like you just i don't know sometimes it just i don't know i love me some jules okay and I love me some Rue. And I think Rue... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can y'all give me some feedback? I know it'll be a, late, a, a week later. And it'll probably just be... We'll, we'll probably still be mad about it forever until the next season. But like also, if you, if you want to comment down below your take on Euphoria, like... <sighs> I really enjoyed re-watching the first season the second time. 
and third time and fourth time so i think this show is timeless but also like i wish there was just we're just greedy consumers we just want everything we just want everything just handed to us that we that we want so we're satisfied but that's not how it works so i'm gonna just try to let this go i don't know how i'm gonna go to sleep tonight because i'm just mm. i got my fucking candles on i'm about to, I'm about to blow my candles up <laughs> Fine. See you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. So I just finished like doing my whole planner for the week. Let's see how these robe curls came out. They're still hella wet. Like what? I'm feeling pretty good. I low key want to go to the gym. Like that's a good feeling. It's 11 something right now. Um, I'm like, do I? Because I'm kind of like on point, on track for all my stuff like this week. And I feel like I have just enough like free time and like downtime this week. It's not going to be so overwhelmed and packed like it was the past like two months. I feel like I finally like am caught up and like on my shit. Oh yeah, these came out good. They came out like soft and like not as like... Cool, 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 cool. So yeah, I might probably want to go to the gym today. Just because them wings really had me like in a chokehold last night. Like my, I was so bloated. It's okay. It's worth it. It was worth it. It's very good. I love food. Food is very good. <laughs> but also, I just need to, I need to find like a little balance because I don't think the ratio is right from like eating at home versus eating out. Like, think. Why is the battery dead? What the heck? We'll see what's in store for today. I've been loving this Kiehl's moisturizer. Just like super simple, basic ass moisturizer. It does what it needs to do. So we'll see what's up today. I can either catch up, I'm gonna catch up on homework. I'm gonna edit some TikToks that I have. Um, and then possibly go to the gym. Maybe I can edit on the treadmill. Like, is that a thing? Like, would I be able to do that? Time flies when I edit. So I'm just like, hmm, maybe I can kill two birds with one step. So let's see, how about we just fill out the whiteboard until my damn battery dies because I forgot to charge it. Hey y'all, it's almost 5 p.m. now. I'm gonna close myself in my closet because my mom's on the phone. <laughs> my door be so loud. Hey, welcome to the closet where I hoard all of my clothes. Love it here. I just got an email from school that my TB test is outdated. Like, you guys, that's one thing about nursing school. I don't know if this is how it's like in every program. Hello. But they gonna make you get poked and prodded and tested and swabbed and this and that every, every 10 days. Like, we're fine. Like, it's okay. Fucking relax. What do I want to wear? What do I want to wear? I want to wear, I would just wear this with sweatpants over it, but like, I don't, I, that happens. So I'm like, I might just put my vest on. Yeah, 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 yeah. We finna finesse. We're gonna vest it up so the titties are covered. Also, I don't have to take my clothes off because I'm that lazy. I don't know where my black sweats are, so I guess we'll just wear these white ones and then I'll just wear my white little Yeezy slides. I think I'm actually gonna buy a real pair of Yeezys at some point. Because I really do like them. But I do feel like these from the mall kiosk do the job. For the price Ooh. For the price point. Let's go get poked and prodded. Okay. okay. <laughs> it looks so weird. Thanks. Of course. Bye. She was such a sweetheart. Like, very sweet. And I really lucked out, y'all. I booked the appointment literally 20 minutes ago. Got here literally within five minutes. She stabbed me within two minutes. And I'm out of here on the way home. I'm like, that's what's up. <laughs> See, mom, I do be getting my way with appointments, girl. Don't doubt me with my appointments, girl. I'm gonna make it happen with 30 seconds to spare. Because this is due on Wednesday and it's Monday right now. And with TB tests, you have to get them read two days after so i'll be done on wednesday but it'll be done so i don't want to hear it i don't want to hear it 
Okay, I wasn't bringing my vlog camera, but I'm vlogging on the phone right now. And last time I got a TB test. Ow. Hey. It's nice like vlogging in the car and like being able to see myself. But last time I got a TB test, y'all. It was an LPN, which now that I'm in, I've been doing a lot of questions about delegation and assigning as an RN. And LPNs are basically, actually I'm gonna go this way because it's so hard to get out this way. So LPNs are basically RNs. They have RN education, but they're not qualified to do all of the RN things. So they're basically like right there next to an RN. And then UAPs are basically techs. Like I was a tech for a little bit this past summer and basically they're just assistive personnel. They can do ambulating, they can do bed cleaning, they can do, you know, hygiene care, like basically just helpful things, but can't do like med administration. They don't do like procedural type things, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, I say all that to say that an LPN, not that it made any difference really, because LPNs are up there, but it was just cool to know, like, I didn't know what an LPN really was. My hair is like glowing orange, you see that? Yeah, the LPN did my TB test last time and she gave no fucks. She was giving me dookie energy, was giving me like, give me your arm, what are you here for? All right, fine. Didn't even wash her hands, didn't even introduce herself, orient to the room. Like, I was taking notes. Like, it's crazy being a little nursing student because you be noticing all that stuff. You're like, hmm, what's it really like to be a nurse? What's it really like to be in the field? And like, some of these people would just be nasty. I'm like, okay, here's my arm. Then she has the audacity. So it's an intradermal injection. That's what a TB is. And that goes in 15 degrees against your skin. So it's like right, it's really weird. It's like right into your skin. It's not like 90 degree angle or like 45. It's like right under the skin. It's so weird. So I'm like, fine. I'm not worried about, I'm not weird about needles either. Like you can draw my blood, you can poke me. I don't care. Like it doesn't really bother me. It only lasts for half a second and like it's over with, whatever. Tell me why she finds literally like the strongest nerve in my fucking arm and stabs it right into my nerve. Like the odds of that happening are so slim. And she found it. She stabbed me right in my nerve, y'all. And like, <laughs> literally, it hurt so fucking bad. Are you gonna go? Yes, he is. I would've just ran his ass over on that bike child i'm literally sweating thinking about it like she stroked the nerve injected this into my nerve and it burned and hurt so bad like i'm not no bitch when it comes to pain like for real i really don't mind like <laughs> that hurt so bad that i literally started sweating and like my heart was racing and it's literally the smallest injection this this looks so bad right now the lighting looks so bad right now forgive me so I was kind of nervous going into that one and I was just like, okay, is, is that always how TV tests are? I don't think so. And she was a fucking angel. She was so sweet, so sweet, so helpful. Queen, like this lighting right now, holy shit. So anyway, she poked me right into my flesh, not my nerve. And now we good, it's like a little bump, you saw? So basically they have to go back and read it in two days. And if the lump is still there, I'm pretty sure that means it's positive. I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be like a reaction, like if the lump is still there, I don't know. Fully. but I just know that mine's negative every time so it's flat and it's not raised and it's fine I was gonna go to the gym but <laughs> I think it's all about a feeling it's all about a feeling and being motivated and like disciplined and wanting to go I don't think I'm really there yet as much as I want to be ripped for springtime I usually feel like I get into my groove like when the sun is out and it's not so cold and like I can work out outside and like I don't know I'm just not in the groove right now okay Damn. Hello? Call me Chef Monet. I didn't eat out, okay? I need to save, I need to save my eating out for not a Monday, so fine. Hi. Yes, I'm wearing the same outfit as yesterday. <laughs> oh, dirty ass. I just got so annoyed, like traffic in the morning over here is so irritating and i'm very much a finesser listen i don't need to get into it right now i need to pay for this meter and get my ass to class but i'm early so i don't want to hear it 15 minutes that's usually how it'll be you 
Ew. I hate looking this cute in the morning. Ew, he keeps looking back at me like, bro, keep walking. It's too early. I will punch you in the face. Don't talk to me. It's too early. Keep walking. <laughs> this side eye, you can see. Uh, hopefully he thinks I'm a weirdo. I'll get myself in a car. Anyway, I'm pissed. Just because. And this pimple patch is lifting and it's making me want to scream. I, I want to get a, a black skims mask. They sell singles. I think I might just get one. All right, guys. I'm gonna be here for like eight hours today. Hopefully I get all my school work done for the week so I can just focus on my content creation. I was having dreams last night that I was like scheduling and creating content, like all my stuff this week. Like it was weird, I hate that shit. Cause now I feel exhausted, like I already did it, but now I have to do it again. Anyway, I'm going to class. I don't know how the hell we went to high school. That's like, <laughs> Like right? 7 a.m. to like 3 p.m. And I would say like in the after school shit. And I'd have like softball after school. Right. And do it for like five days a week. I'm so... <laughs> Wait, go to class. Go to school all fucking day long. Go to practice. And then I would go to work after practice. And like we wouldn't even complain. No. We would just go to sleep do it. Like, the next day. <laughs> like go home and do homework. Like eat dinner. Like, I don't know how. I don't, I don't know. know. And the five days a week is what it seems like. You do like one long day. Mm -hmm. Unnecessary death. Unnecessary. I'm so bitter right now. Like, going to school is such a fucking waste of time, y'all. It's the way that the first class is such a waste of time. Second class is waste of time. We can do shit online. Y'all don't even know what you want to teach. You just want to keep us there just because. Like, put us in a Zoom. I'm just annoyed like my whole day is gone and i'm so tired and like i can't tell you one thing the teacher said today like none of it was important and if you're in high school if you're not in senior year of college like it's probably otherwise but like you, there's nothing to teach senior year of college like last semester like you're not telling me anything that i don't already know that i haven't already learned i'm just annoyed <laughs> and then for the second teacher not even to take attendance i'm like why did i my first class is done at 10.30. The second class is at 2 p.m. That's a big ass gap for you to not take attendance for me staying on campus for that whole time for no reason. <sighs> anyway, I got a beautiful package from Pat McGrath. So it's for the Skin Fetish Foundation. Like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So I'm gonna get my vibes right. So when I film this, you know what I'm saying? The vibes are right. Oh my gosh, they sent option. I was gonna say. I was like, I hope, I hope they got the right color. Oh my God. Oh my God. Guys, if you're, if you've never tried Pat McGrath or if you don't follow Pat McGrath on anything, like you guys, I really highly recommend just checking out their shit. Cause it's just so, it's just so good. It's just so good. It's just so good. I'm pretty sure it's luxury. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's luxury, but anything that you purchase, will be so worth it and this is not sponsored this part is not sponsored i'm saying this with my heart so we got an eyeliner yup and i think i'm gonna do a natural pretty pretty look let's see what shade we twerking with this is cute packaging usually they come in black oh so this is like a this is a natural like butter or like an actual lipstick Mm, smells so good. Oh, so it's like a tint. It's like a little stronger tint than like a natural tint. I'm so, I'm so, I can't believe I have a Pat McGrath skin fetish right now. Like, I'm so excited. First of all, let's get into the packaging. PMG, like beautiful. It's really worth the investment. Oh my God. So beautiful. Wow. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna wash my face and wash my hands. Ooh. Wow, that looks literally just like my color. So let's see. This is shade, this is medium deep 24. That looks pretty accurate. Let's 
see one, which one match, matches me the best. This one looks a little bit lighter. This looks more like my mom's skin tone. Yeah, it's so funny. Like I always end up getting lighter colors than darker ones. Like I come off lighter on camera. And like, if you look at my body, like my body is so brown. Like my body visually looks black, but if you just saw my face in some pictures and some lighting, like I, I can see why they would send me like, why brands send me light colors. Especially like in my vanity area, like my skin tone looks light, but y'all know. This one looks a little bit light too. I hope they send me one dark one so I can have a summer shade and not just my mama having these colors. Damn, my mom has so many foundations for me. So I think the first one literally looks, you can't even see the first one at this point. And we have one more, hope this one's darker so I can have this in the summer. I like how liquidy this foundation is. I feel like it's gonna absorb into my skin really well. And this one is medium deep 25. First one was 24. Okay, so these are the darkest ones. Oh, this one is darker. Lit. So let's see, it doesn't look darker, first impression. Oh yeah. Yay. So what do you guys think? I think this one for real. The first one we swatched really looks like the best color match okay so i can keep two and i'm gonna give two to mom so mom has tried a lot of my a lot of the foundations she was obsessed with the nars full coverage one and then she got obsessed with the a cosmetic cc cream then i put her on to the makeup forever hd skin the new one that just dropped she was like obsessed then i put her on the estee lauder double wear foundation guys that i understand the rave i'm so late but i totally fucking understand now. Anyways, I'm definitely going with medium 24 to get into this campaign. You guys have already seen it at this point because it's going live Friday. My favorite Pat McGrath glosses. So I'm just gonna do a gloss. I really like this lip. This lip is really pretty. And I'll tell you what it is. Temptress. Lip fetish, lip shine, 595. It's really pretty. Guys, the eyeshadow palettes are divine. And is this the mascara? Okay, they're the mas their mascara is the best. Yes, okay. So I'm gonna do a liner, a euphoria sparkly look, and then the highlight to be sparkly, and then the nose to be sparkly, and then just like a natural lip and just giving skin. That's what the look's gonna be, okay? Okay, Zools. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? No. I feel like this kind of makeup look looks the best on me. I feel really motherfucking pretty. Also, I've never tried the Pat McGrath liners, but like, why is it jet black? Like, I don't think I've ever used a liner that was that crispy. Look at that. The felt tip was so skinny and literally was like, it was like, Mm-hmm. So I'm wearing the shadow. I'm wearing the foundation. I'm wearing the lip gloss. Like full pat, full PMG face. Mm. Stan. So it's like 5 p.m. now. I'm beat today, but I have to edit all this footage. So I think I'm gonna clean my room, eat dinner, and then curl in a ball and just edit everything and then just be done for the day because I'm done. God, my armpits are so bald, I forgot. <laughs> Love that for me. Oh my God, my floors be so loud. I'm literally getting in bed. I just edited for for the past like six hours, was it not? I got home at 3.30. I just finished submitting everything. And it's 9 p.m. So I'm like exhausted from today. School sucked. <sighs> And I think tomorrow I'm gonna do a TikTok mini vlog. Like a day in my life. Like a quick little day in my life. Cause I'm so busy tomorrow for no reason. And I feel like it's just enough nursing school and just enough like content creation, just enough like me. So I might just insert that for tomorrow. Yeah, I might just insert that tomorrow so I don't have to worry about like getting the, I can just focus on making the TikTok. Cause Wednesdays are my day off of vlogging anyway. Right now, girls, I'm going to sleep. 
All right, here's a productive day in my life as a nursing student and a content creator. Personally, if I don't start my morning fresh and clean, girl, I'ma spend it in day like a dirt ball. So let's clean this room, get the vibes right, let's go. Okay, but my gears don't start grinding until I have my coffee and my fresh ass ice water. I usually like to start my day with like planning and doing like schoolwork first because honestly, if I wait till the end of the day, it will not get done. I'm in my last semester of nursing school, so it's a lot of review, a lot of busy work, a lot of questions, a lot of studying. This daily vlog is heavier on the social media side. We got some PR to open, make it forever. And these were some energy drinks. I, I don't I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> now we're heading to an eyebrow appointment to spill the tea with my brow girl. He's there for a check. Like he is not trying to teach us nothing. He texted us this past Sunday and was like, Do you guys really feel like coming in today? And we no. were like, obviously not. Yeah. Now the brows are looking fresh. I had to pick up some stuff while I was at Ulta. And it's honestly inspired me to clean up my makeup bin and get rid of all the extra shit that just like piles up in here somehow that I like never use. <laughs> <laughs> so i got it down to the basics my everyday routine so now i'm feeling extra fresh and light and now we're gonna clean the brushes because the crust did so as your sign i don't know how often you're supposed to clean your brushes or like how often y'all clean your brushes but i always feel way better after i do all right now we all fresh and clean and here's the email intermission y'all i'm on my emails all day today in particular i had a few calls and y'all i used to be so nervous to hop on calls but i'm proud of myself i'm getting better i'm feeling a little more confident some conversations was had <laughs> So now it's filming time. I usually have two to five campaigns that I film per week. Today in particular, I did a hair campaign and I did a makeup one. And this is my room every single time after I film. A mess. So honestly, I really don't mind cleaning up. It's like a satisfying process. I feel real good afterwards. I know I got my shit done. So tomorrow we have some lunch plans and I'm the type that has to play my outfit the night before just for peace of mind. And I'm gonna just take this moment to appreciate all the other content creators for all the time you put into editing, girl, because I know I see you. I see you, okay? It takes literally 50% of my week just editing my content and then i spend the rest of my night catching up on work tea with my bestie hey mama i love you hey guys so what did you guys think of my mini vlog for today what did you guys think of my mini vlog for today <sighs> there's one thing that pisses me off it's a loud motherfucking car i got my brows done well if you guys saw my mini vlog you already saw everything i can't really fill you in on anything but i'm about to take a shower and get ready for the next vlog and the next day because tomorrow i don't know if i'm telling you guys yet because tomorrow's gonna be really fun me and mom are going to new york we're gonna get lunch with reefy then we're going to an appointment like i said we went to a little appointment for something which i'll probably spill in the next vlog because just to keep you guys wondering what do you think the appointment's for what do you think the appointment's for hmm hmm what y'all think the appointment's for i wonder what you guys think it is but I just picked up my outfit. So cute. I love me some cream colorway. I want to get a cute pick for the gram. Dang, my head is itching. I'm going to wash and like blow out my hair and stuff. Should I do that tomorrow morning? Maybe I'll do a fresh blowout tomorrow. Maybe I'll do like a cute get ready with me and be like natural everyday glam, glam clean makeup look. And then we could do like a get ready with me and then go. But like a quick get ready with me. But yeah, that's it for me. That's, that's it for me this vlog, guys. I feel like... At the end of every vlog, I'm like, what did we do? Like, weeks just be blending into each other. I'm like, what the hell did we do? This is my full face in ours, by the way. If you guys are curious about my makeup, like, she cute, she cute, she cute. I just can't wait to, like, wash everything off and then just lay in bed. Because I can't touch my bed. My bed looks so good right now. Like, don't you just want to dive into that bitch? And also, I don't know how I feel about the sun setting so late right now. Because it's, like, almost 5 p.m. and the sun is still blaring. I'm just like, I feel like I have more hours to be productive. I can't just like fall off the face of the earth at 5 p.m. like I like to do. I'm very much the bare minimum ass bitch. Like, <laughs> if you didn't ask me to do it, I'm not doing it. Unless I love it. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog. I missed hanging out with you guys. Blink, 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 blink. And I'm happy to be back with like my regular, my regular regular vlogs. You know, just every day type shit. So let me know what else you guys want to see too. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, you know, help out the channel. I'll see you guys. I'll see you guys on all my other platforms, you know, Instagram, TikTok, you know, that's really it. But I'll see you guys there because I'm, I'm, I'm more consistent on those platforms, honestly. But yeah, and I'll see you guys next week.